race two and the final race at Norris Ring for the Saturday series is coming to you here. A bit of an interesting grid because we've had the reverse grid uh, change because Adam Dixon, who would have started P9, is not in the race, nor is Thomas Waz. We are down from 16 cars to 14 cars, and we have a new pole sitter. So let's get rolling down the grid. The pole is now Dean Reimers, followed by Dave Collins for uh, Golden Bolt and John Slow, respectively. Mark Klabzul will start from third for Spalding, with Alex Hayes starting from fourth, the independent entry. Mike Magasevich will start fifth for Golden Bolt. Stefan Gervais, sixth for uh, John Slow. Seventh for John Slow's Ben Schwari. Michael Schneider and Wesley Stokes are after that. Stokes for Team Shashma. And then Martin Lauer, the race one winner, will start from 10th place for John Slow Racing. Then it's Mark Minahan, Rick Martel, Alan Anhel, and Dule Markovic, who did not make the uh, distance in race one. So Reimers, despite not finishing in the points, will get the pole start, and we'll see if he can hold it. Mark Klabzul getting a good start away. It looks like Dave Collins is a little bogged down. And it looks like Reimers is going to hold it. Ooh, Dave Collins is slipping way back. Mike Bagasevich coming around the outside. He may end up getting hung out to dry, though, but he fights his way back inside. A little bit of contact with Mike Schneider. Squeeze between Martin Lauer and Dean Reimers. What a start from Lauer, by the way. Up from 10th on the grid. Mark Minahan is spinning out of control. Magasevich gets put into the wall. I'm not sure what's happening here. We can't seem to get a good read on it. Anyways, Alex Hayes has come out in the lead in the BMW. Mark Minahan really having some problems now. So second place is Lauer, up from 10th on the grid to 2nd already. Dave Collins has gotten into 3rd, despite the somewhat weak start. Mark Klapzul and Mike Magasevich, who had much better starts, are further back. Stefan Gervais is up to 4th, ahead of Michael Schneider, fighting with him hard. Mark Klapzul is the 6th place man. Pulsar Dean Reimers is back to 8th place now, as he loses 7th to Ben Schwari. Wesley Stokes is coming through. Maybe, yes, yes, the switchback. Stokes is way late on the brakes, and causes a pileup. This is going to alter the, the results hard. Rick Martell caught up in it. Mark Klabzul caught up in it. Alan Ann Hells caught up in it. Oh, my God. The carnage. Anyways, back at the front. Alex Hayes is still hanging on from Martin Lauer. Dave Collins is in third place, followed by Gervais, Schneider, and Reimers in sixth. Seventh is Magus Savage. Eighth, Schwari. Looking to make a move. Ninth is Rick Martell. He's having a pretty good race. Dulé Markovic is up to tenth from the back of the grid. Wesley Stokes, Alan Ann Hell, Mark Klabzul, and Mark Minahan rounding off the field. Martin Lauer putting the pressure on. Alex Hayes looking for the double victory. Martin Lauer has been so dominant since coming back from his health problems. Looking to go around the outside of Hayes. I don't think that's going to work. This is BMW on BMW, but it's the M6 of Hayes. The new BMW. Heavier, a little bit more powerful, but not quite the handler that the Z4 is. Still holding on to the lead. Collins still holding on to third, but Gervais is starting to put the pressure on his John Slow teammate. By the way, <clears throat> John Slow racing second, third, and fourth right now. Fantastic opening for them. Michael Schneider in fifth place, sixth place, Reimers, seventh place, Magasevich, who's still holding off Schwari somehow. But Schwari is going to stick it up the inside of him and take the position. Martel eighth, ninth, Markovich, tenth, Stokes, eleventh, and Hell, twelfth, Mark Klabzul, thirteenth, or pardon me, I was, I was one spot behind where it ahead of where it was. Add one to a bunch of those. We'll get a rundown real quick. Anyways, Hayes holding it through the first turn. I think the first turn is what this is going to happen. Martin Lauer has a problem. This is going to open the door for Dave Collins and for Gervais, but they are his teammates, so they may handle him with a little bit of the kitty gloves. So Hayes holds the lead from Lauer. Collins is third. Fourth Gervais. Fifth Rymers. Sixth Schwari. Seventh Schneider. 8th Magasevich, 9th Martel, 10th Markovich, 11th Stokes, 12th Anhill, 13th Klapsul, and 14th Minahan. By the way, in the academy, it's Hayes leading from Collins, Gervais 3rd, 4th Reimers, 5th place for Schneider, and 6th place for Magasevich. Everyone else outside the points in the academy cup. So Hayes has got a little bit of cushion now thanks to Lauer's mistake. David Collins still hanging on to third place against 
Schwar uh, Gervais, but Gervais gets into the back of him. Teammates collide. It's a disaster for John Slow Racing. Rymers is up. Schneider is up. Schwari is up. Magasevich is going to maybe try and make a move as well. And he's got Rick Martel coming in the party. Bad luck for Dave Collins, who is having a pretty solid opening couple of laps. But this is an 18-lap affair that is certainly not over yet. Markovic has seemingly uh, gotten away from Wesley Stokes to secure that last points winning position. And Martin Lauer is mowing down Alex Hayes once again, closing the gap. Gervais is in third, but could be seeking some actions for his collision with Dave Collins. Fourth place is Dean Reimers. Fifth place, Ben Schwari, the championship leader. Sixth is Schneider. Seventh. Is Dave Collins, 8th Magasevich, 9th Martel, and 10th Markovich. Lauer looking up the inside in turn 4, hoping that the BMW of Alex Hayes goes wide, but not this time. Two Academy drivers on the podium, and actually three in the top five, proving the worth of the Zero Academy. Klapsul still in sixth, or uh, Schneider in sixth place. I don't really say Klapsul. Schneider in sixth place. Seventh place, Collins is putting the pressure on again, making a bit of a comeback. And Magasevich is under a tremendous amount of pressure from Rick Martel in 8th place. Markovich still running in ninth. Looks like Martel actually at some point had gotten ahead of Magasevich and is now behind him. Pressure on heading into the first corner again. Lauer is weaving, looking to make a move. He's going for the inside line into turn 1. Hayes can possibly squeeze him. Lauer, I think it's a little late on the brakes. Maybe the switchback is there for Hayes. Not quite. Martin Lauer has got the lead, and I don't know if anyone can really catch him today. He has been on fire. Further back, Dean Reimers in the Golden Bolt entry, still holding off championship leader Schwari. Much like Magasevich did earlier in the race. Schneider still hanging on against Dave Collins. Magasevich hanging on against Martel. With Markovich and Stokes drawing closer in 10th and 11th place. We'll see if the M6 can come back at the Z4. It does have superior horsepower. And maybe with the slipstream can get something done. Time Ben Schwari has gotten through probably at turn one on Dean Reimers. Let's go have a look at how what happened there in the battle for fourth place for the champion, ship leader. Uh, happened a ways back, I think. I'm feeling like maybe a mistake here from Reimers or maybe a bit of a bully tactic from Schwari. We ride on board with Ben Schwari heading into turn four. He goes down the inside and makes it stick and then I don't really know why Rymer's lost so much ground on the straightaway you can't imagine that he's running like tremendously high wing or anything Magasevich under pressure from Martel but he is actually drawing closer to the two cars ahead of him so the Magasevich train may be joining the Schneider train unusual for Michael Schneider he's been very fast here to be kind of a maybe at the head of a multi-car train here shortly. So Academy Cup standings is Hayes, Gervais, Reimers third, Schneider fourth, Collins fifth, Magasevich is sixth, although getting past 
by Rick Martel for eighth place in the race. And I think he's going to lose a spot here to Dulé Markovic as well. No! He goes back down the inside. And that's going to cost both of them. Let's ride on board with him for this. Was this move on? Looks like he just locked the brakes up. Could not get it properly stopped. So he goes back up in eighth, at least for now. But he's got... We know he's got Markovic and Martel there and Stokes there. So he could end up in 11th before the end of this corner. This is going into the first corner. Four cars all vying for ninth or for eighth place in the race. All definitely not wanting to be the last one out of this corner. Mike Bagasevich and Martel have a little rub, but Martel gets the position. I feel like Markovic may have fumbled a bit of an opportunity there on the prior lap to take both of them. 8th, 9th, 10th, and 11th place. Marte Markovic is looking for a move on Magasevich. Nothing really on there. Between the Serbian and the Canadian of Serbian extraction. Martin Lauer has opened up a gap to Alex Hayes. So I think this race is his. Hayes now has to worry about Stefan Gervais, who's currently climbing up onto his back. Ben Schwari is still in fourth place, followed by Reimer, Schneider, and Collins. Collins is sticking with the group, doing a fantastic job. Wide into turn one goes Martell, and it's going to open up the door for Magus Savage. Can Rick Martell hold on to eighth place? He does have the inside corner line into turn three. And he will hold it. Magus Savage is under assault from Markovich. And Stokes is coming up the middle. Stokes on the inside, three cars wide. Stokes is going to... I think Stokes is going to take them both. Stokes has got them both. No, no! He broke... Savage went for a move. He went deep. Markovic takes him. Stokes takes him. Markovic also takes Stokes. Oh! The battle is on for ninth place between these three cars. The Zagato Piston entry of Markovic. The Shashma entry of Wesley Stokes. And the Golden Bolt entry of Mike Magasevich. The battle is on. Stokes has got the inside line into turn one. Magasevich is looking for a switchback. Gets hung up a little bit on the curb and for now is foiled. Does he have the pace to make a comeback? And hell, Clapzul and Minahan back in 12th, 13th, and 14th. Still in the lead is Martin Lauer. He's completed. He's on the way to completing his 12th lap of 18. Alex Hayes is under pressure from Stefan Gervais right now. Ben Schwari is in fourth, just kind of waiting for them to maybe hit each other. Dean Reimers is in fifth. Schneider is in sixth. Seventh is Dave, Dave Collins. I'm not sure why it is disagreeing with the number uh, on my screen here. It's claiming Collins is eighth. But I believe I'm correct in stating that he is seventh. There we go. It has fixed itself. Martel is in eighth place. Magus Savage is now in, in ninth. And what has happened to Stokes and Markovic? They were ahead of Magasevic. And I'm not seeing Markovic anywhere because Alan and Hell has gotten ahead. There's Markovic in the background. I'm assuming we're going to see a collision here in turn three. Uh, turn two. So let's ride with Wesley Stokes. He looks like he's coming from a fair way back. Oh, no. Markovic is losing it before Stokes gets into him. That is... That is a racing incident, or if you want to place the blame on Markovic, I suppose you can for losing control of the car. See if there's anything wrong with Markovic's car. Mark Klabzul gets through. And Markovic looks like he just parks it. Maybe his day is... No, no, still moving. Anyways, battles on for second place. Stefan Gervais, another Z4 versus M6 confrontation. Really making you maybe <laughs> wonder if you can make BMW rethink the M6. Because the Z4s have been doing fantastic this season against some of the some of the newer technology, some of the newer developments, and the M6 in the hands of Alex Hayes has done pretty good. Solid. It's been a race winner and a podium finisher. And Hayes is a solid driver, but uh, here today on a track that you would think 
would definitively favor the higher top end of the M6, the Z4s are really proving their worth. Gervais putting the pressure on him and championship leader and teammate to Gervais. Ben Schwari is catching up. Reimers is in fifth. Schneider sixth. Collins is seventh. Eighth is Martel. Ninth is Magus Savage now. Alan Angel is up in the points in tenth position. He's fighting against Wesley Stokes, who is a victim of circumstances with Markovich's spin. Looking down the inside and goes up into 10th place, snagging in hell. 12th is Klapzul, 13th is Minahan, 14th, we've, we've lost Markovic entirely. So it's we're down to 13 cars, started with 17, down to 13, actually 18 because James Gill did not start the first race. Pressure is on here. Gervais is desperately looking for a way around Hayes. He probably doesn't want to give the position to his teammate. He would like to finish on the podium, and more importantly, actually, this is a battle for the Academy Cup lead. Hayes is the lead Academy Cup car right now. Gervais is second place. These guys have been lighting it up all season long for that Academy Cup. They would love to take a chunk out of Dean Reimers, who's in third place in the Academy Cup in this race. Back in fifth place there. Schneider in sixth place. You can still see him there. And Dave Collins, he's fallen out the back, but he's looking still pretty solid in seventh place. In the meantime... Ben Schwari is making his move. He's got it in turn four, losing a bit of control there. Can he get back up to speed? No, Gervais is going to go through and retain the position. But the John Snow racing cars not doing each other favors today. Gervais hitting Dave Collins, and now Schwari and uh, Gervais kind of tripping over each other in the battle for third. Martin Lauer calmly leading in front as he's coming up to Mark Minahan to lap him. Alex Hayes now got some breathing room because of the John Slow squabble. Ben Chwari is through. What has happened to Stefan Gervais? We've lost Gervais. He's, up, he's all the way back behind Rick Martel. So dropping from fourth, from third position to, I believe that'll put him in eighth. Looks like he's gone off in turn one. Was he assisted in the matter? Let's ride on board with him through this. No, nope, just no contact. Just loses the car. Through goes Collins, and I believe we'll see Martel make his way through as well as he rejoins in front of Magasevich. That was big because that's also a couple of academy spots because, of course, Reimers, Schneider, and Collins, all academy drivers. Lauer leading by a good chunk from Hayes that inherits Ben Schwaria podium ahead of Dean Reimers and Michael Schneider. Dave Collins now up to 6th place. And the battle for 7th is on. Rick Martel. Rough first race. Started quite a ways back in the second race. Has climbed his way up into 7th place. He's fighting with Stefan Gervais. Who's been one of the pace setters kind of really all around. But has had some bad luck befall him. Martel, though, is a cool-as-cucumber driver, a veteran of Zero Racing. Magasevich and Stokes rounding off the points. So we run through here as we head to the final lap. Alex Hayes is your leading Academy driver. Second overall, Martin Lauer has lead. Ben Schwari is third. Dean Reimers is fourth, second in the Academy. Fifth and third in the Academy, Michael Schneider. Stefan Gervais and... Rick Martel have just overtaken Dave Collins, so we'll go back and check that out. But Gervais is now up into sixth place, seventh for Martel, who he's gotten. Well, Martel was seventh beforehand. He's just lost a spot to Gervais and gained a spot over Collins. Collins is back to eighth. Mega Savage and Stokes rounding off the points. What happened to Dave Collins?
Oh, hits the wall. He hit the wall in turn four, and that's going to cost him big. It's going to drop him two spots. Nice. Martin Lauer leads, looking for the double win. Alex Hayes, second top academy driver. Ben Chouari, third, fourth. Reimer, second in the Academy Cup. Schneider, fifth, third in the Academy Cup. Gervais, sixth, fourth in the Academy Cup. Rick Martel, seventh, fifth in the Academy Cup, and eighth overall. Dave Collins, ninth and sixth in the Academy Cup is Magusevich, and tenth is Stokes. Outside of the points are Angel, Klapzul, and Minahan. Looks like Minahan is going to finish on the lead lap, though, and avoid getting lapped. Martin Lauer brings it home and takes the double in Norris Ring, the master of the streets of the ring. Second place is going to be Alex Hayes, a fantastic result for the BMW M6. Ben Schwari third. Fourth place for Dean Reimers. Fifth place for Michael Schneider. Sixth place looks like it's going to go to Steph and Gervais, followed by Rick Martell in seventh and Dave Collins in eighth place. Ninth for Mike Magasavage, a really good start didn't really carry through for the rest of the race and the final points paying position goes to Wesley Stokes in 10th place 11th is going to be Alan and Hell followed by Mark Klabzul in 12th 13th place for Mark Minahan that was the Norris ring and we're off to Laguna Seca next and the season finale at Sonoma championship still up for grabs tune in next time